Good afternoon. Today, I'm going to show how to use Arturia Virtual Instruments as playback in Sibelius. So I want to be able to use these Arturia instruments as playback. Finally, just sort of banging my head against the shitty Sibelius interface that it's quite straightforward to do this, but it wasn't straightforward to figure out how to do it. Um, just before I, before I jump over to the screen share, I'm in my kitchen. There's my coffee. And I'm in the kitchen because we have puppies and they are sleeping under the table and I'm loath to leave them unattended. Uh, they're only 10 or 11 weeks old. They're tiny little Australian Shepherd puppies. If they wake up, I will bring them on camera. So oh, I think I've just found the title. Acquire the virtual instruments. Now this is the Arturia Software Center, which you can download from the Arturia site. And then this is how they manage your licenses. Um, all of these wonderful emulations. I mean, they're all so freaking cool. The demo is fully functioning, but you can't save anything and it stops after 20 minutes. Uh, but here I've downloaded the ARP. I've downloaded the DX7, the mini, the mini Moog. Then we move over to Sibelius. So here's my score, the tea ceremony. Now, First thing then, let me jump to my notes here. All right, download demo from Software Center. Check, create new sound group. Okay, so the Sibelius has this concept of a sound group. To get to the sound group, you know, let me blow this up. You go to the play tab and then expand this setup. I have a configuration that I've called Arturia. Um, I have other configurations transport out of the way that you can see here's my arteria so the sound group are these devices that are active and these are all of the available devices that you've got down here so you can see the ARP um, DX7 the Mini V3 and a bunch of other shit that I don't know what it is so I bumped them over here now you can see I've got two minis that's because I can patch them differently and you'll see when we get to Sibelius that Mini V3 is different from Mini V2. Uh, I can rename this to something useful. This is you need to do this first. You need to set up this configuration. So that's the first step, right? Come back to my notes here. Create the sound group with with multiple instances possible. That's really key to remember that. Jump back to Sibelius. I'm going to close this down. Okay, now here's one thing to remember. When you manage the sounds through Sibelius and you add your instruments, here, add or remove, this is fine. These will default to the general MIDI instrument associated with the, with the instrument. This is not where you will select your instrument. I, don't know why, but I faffed around a lot here trying to find my virtual synthesizers down here. Here's where you need to set it. You need to come back to the Play tab and click on the mixer. When, you, when you've opened up your mixer, it's probably going to look like this. And you need, to do, you need to do something that is really not clear, not intuitive, and I only found out because some guy on a YouTube video happened to do this. You need to click this, it looks like a bar chart. Click it once, and you get this stuff here that allows you to mute and whatnot. Click it a second time, and you get this view here. And this is the view that you want. So if you get nothing else from this video, then the double click on this button here, it's been worthwhile for everybody. Click on that. Boom, Bob's your uncle. There are the instruments that you want. Anything that you've set up in the, conf in the sound configuration associated with this score will show up here. Look, let me demonstrate. If I were to go back to here and switch to general MIDI, now I can only select For my general MIDI instruments. I don't want to do that. I want to use the configuration that I created called Arturia. And now I can select my 
ARP. I can select my DX7. I can select my Mini 3. And then I'm going to select this. Remember, I can rename to something useful. These are both the same instrument. If I would play it back now, you would uh, hear it with these instruments. I'm not using Sibelius to create the final artifact. I just want a reference. So I don't care about any of this garbage here. I care about these instruments here. But here's one thing that you really need to pay attention to. This funny looking asterisk thing, ah, this is to actually get to the instrument. Now this one here, um, again, the mini demo, so I can't change anything, but you can see I've got it set to something called three oscillator. I'm going to close this. Takes me back to the mixer. Now, Mini V3, which is the other version, I'm going to open that up. It also says three oscillator, but I'm going to change this to uh, mini me. Right? And then I'm going to switch out of that. But you will see going back to my first that it's still three oscillator. Right? So I can have different voices. Hey, sleepy little puppy. <laughs> 